Good kit internet. It's been a while since I've recorded one of these. I know this because I just set the video I last recorded to be public today, and I specifically said it was November 11th. So, um, today is November... 23rd. So, it's been 12 days since I last recorded one of these. Um... Let's see. I remember that I finished Canon Storyline, unfortunately. Uh, I don't remember how to get out. Here, maybe? No. Here, maybe? Yes. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, Isin Kitty's being shy today. I haven't really seen him. Um, by the way, uh, before I start with much of anything, I'll actually reduce the volume on my side a little bit. Um, before I start with anything, uh, go ahead and if you want, I'll also link it into the description of this video. I linked it in the last video. I finally uploaded the uh, openings, which uh, two of them ended up getting flagged by content ID. I don't quite know why those two did and not the others. Uh, it's specifically the disc two openings. Um, by the way, would anybody be interested in me doing a in-depth analysis on the actual openings to the game? So part of the reason why I waited is that I the openings have spoilers in them. And at this point of the game, there is only an extremely minor spoiler for disc two and that's it. Um, honestly, most of you have probably already figured out the spoiler anyway. Uh, so it's not that big of a deal for me to do it now, but I wanted to point out some things that after watching the opening many, many times, doing analysis and so on, that I've noticed with the, when it comes to the game. I just noticed that my camera is slightly tilted. Or is that my monitor that's slightly tilted? It's hard to tell. I'm actually going to be redoing my camera setup. Um, so I actually have a ring light that's going to be arriving, ring light and stand that will be arriving Today? Hold on, let me look this up. Yep, it's supposed to be arriving today. It might even be by my front door, and I just don't know it yet because uh, delivery people here are terrible. No, it's definitely not by my front door. Uh, it's supposed to arrive today, and it has not even shipped yet. Don't think it's arriving today, but not a big deal. I don't necessarily need it immediately. Anyway, um, so I'm going. I'm currently using a really good, I guess you would say, it's good for a price tripod, and it's been stuck behind my monitor this entire time. It's a really bad spot for it, because this is me looking at the game, and this is me looking at the camera. I don't like that, but I couldn't really do much about that. Um, however, with the tripod, I'm hoping to be able to actually set it up behind my actual camera or behind my actual monitor in the middle and maybe do something about that i don't know yet but more importantly i don't have to rely on my really weird lighting setup i've got an octopus light that way and that way i have a normal like floor lamp and the two combined allow for one oh and also ceiling lights of a different color behind me so you can tell from the shadows like from my finger being pointed up that there's something a little weird going on because there's not just one shadow sitting there, it's kind of a mixture. Uh, but in general, my face is fairly well lit up. It's just a little pinkish compared to what my skin tone actually is. I'm hoping that the ring light will be a better option for this, and not to mention not require one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine light sources. Ugh. Anyway. I don't even remember what the other plot thing was, but luckily we can do that in a phone call. That, that's where I just was. Alright, let me open up that um, guide to see if there's anything I need to get at this point. Alright, that should work. Sorry, I had to do some fiddling around. Alright, so well, our next destination is... Still Galad, actually. It's 
specifically the hovercraft. Which, once more, in order to be able to move the hovercraft around, I have to teleport. So, alright. We need to go around the long. So, basically, we need to go around the southern point of the island. That killed Galad's on. Which I didn't think it was technically on an island. It's not technically on an island. Although, I bet this is an artificial land bridge. <sighs> and, of course, if this is also not an island... This is a mega continent. I don't even know which side I'm supposed to be on. We don't need fights at the or do we? How many more fights do we have left for Tim? Two. Tim needs two more kills. Ah ah ah. I'm thinking it needs to be the other direction. It's a guess. I have no idea because I can't remember. I shouldn't be canceling those combats now that I think about it. I mean, really, all of the, like, the harbor of Guild Galad and so on, that, this all looks artificial to me. I keep doing that. Can get me... is an island. Not the first beach. This is something later. And I can't do anything there now, but apparently the second one. That's what I'm supposed to do. I'll let this come back. Clap. I only need two kills, so might as well let them kill one to make this faster. Under clap. Zap. We'll just cast lightning. Lightning. Zap. Cosmic ray can now be used. Now that I've memorized the Also looks like a dead end. Dang it, game. I really wish I could actually go places ahead of time. I know why they did it. They did it because I hit cancel, but at the wrong time. Um, I know why they did it. It's mostly because um, 
That way you can't skip things. Whereas, as you saw in Wild Arms 2, uh, Wild Arms 1, we absolutely skipped a good chunk of the plot for most of the game. Oh, and Cannon's actually faster than Vilka now. That's nice. At least with the current set of equipment. Um, and that's the reason why they made sure that you can't even see the correct locations until you scan. Yeah, significantly faster, actually. Well... It's only six levels. She's only six levels below now. I just tried to use the analog stick for a rotating camera again. Yeah, and this is back in Slayheim. Where the heck am I supposed to go again? <sighs> One moment. I'm going to look at a map. Ah, so. This place that I went, this is a dead end, that actually is where the altar is. I just need to actually start the plot first. Whoops. I have to go to Baskar. Because you know how the last video was all about Cannon actually getting all of her plot in? It's Tim's turn. Oh, and yes, I am wearing the exact same shirt that I was for the previous video. Complete coincidence. It just happens to be that most of my wardrobe is green. And green screen behind me. That doesn't work. The sky is truly being gnawed away. I don't remember what I used for his voice. The dream seer's vision has finally come to pass. I will explain from the beginning. The dream seers have the knowledge and the training to receive and recognize the guardian's will. But messages come from the guardian. Uh, messages from guardians only come in fragments and are often difficult to interpret. What is your major malfunction? Okay. It is extremely rare for a message so concrete to be bestowed by the Guardians. The danger to fill Gaia must be too great to warrant such a vision. Remember, this is the guy that tried to sacrifice Tim. He's a dick. I mean, yeah, Irving's still a dick too, but you know, this guy's also a dick. Well, what are the Guardians trying to tell us? Unfortunately, that's all we know. Or we'll ever know from the Guardians, for the Dream Sayer can only wait in your dreams. And since the power of the Guardians is also the power of all Vilgaia, Vilgaia being eaten away means the power of the Guardians will soon be diminished. Hey look, an attack on Vilgaia weakening the Guardians. Who would have ever thought? Anyway. Um, excuse me. Could I help out, maybe? Could I receive the will of the guardians with the power that I have? Well, it might indeed be possible for Tim to channel the will of the guardians. I'll do anything I can. This is the guy that tried to sacrifice you, Tim. We would need someone to go to the sealed sanctuary of the guardians. The sealed sanctuary would have enough of the guardians' power left in it. The sealed sanctuary of the guardians. What is it? It's called um, the sacrificial altar. Are you freaking kidding me? You keep bringing up sacrifices. Hold on. going. I can't believe it. Now Tim's talking that way too. Don't worry. I'm not going there to be sacrificed either. Or I don't want to go there to be sacrificed either. All I want to do is to ask the guardians what the hell is going on. It makes me worried for some reason. Like the fact that you're technically a side character and we're just getting back to the second half of your story. I was scared at first, too. Uh, I mean, at first, I'll, I wanted to not be a pillar so much I couldn't really think about anything else. It's different now, though. It's hard to say why, but I have a reason for dying. Now there's a reason for me to fight. I don't want to run away anymore. I want to help. 
Hmm, I think that means he started to find himself. There's something I don't get. You see, I am me, but there's no myself to me. So if there were a medium and an information matrix, then I can change into anything. I'm only me, Buka, because there is no myself. Tim has begun to find himself since he met me. Kind of envious of that. I would like to find myself too. But maybe with everyone's help, I'll be able to. Well, I guess I have to try. I found out about the sealed sanctuary, the uh, sacrificial altar. There's so many things said it's about its precise location, though. You could better ask people yourselves. We will be with you the whole way, Tim. We will protect you. Uh, I think that's Tim protecting you. You're level 15. Tim kills gods in one hit. Just saying. Well, thanks, but I'm not scared anymore. Let's go. Because Tim kills everything in his path. All right. Hey, look, it's these two assholes. The Udartu Mountains are considered holy. They contain a sanctuary of the Guardians. But the Guardians' power was sealed by the blaze of disaster and the sanctuary desecrated. The desecrated sanctuary has become a sacrificial altar that awaits the pillar. Love, courage, and hope are what shines most brightly within everyone's heart. Well, maybe I should say shined. Things have disappeared. Those things have disappeared from our hearts and are disappearing from Filgaia as well. See, now this actually feels like a wild arms game again. Raftina of love, Justine of courage, and Zephyr of hope. I'm sure the Guardian Lords would do something about this encroachment if they could. Yeah, there's not happy music here. Sky being not away. I had no idea how literally true that could be. It is kind of creepy. I need any updates. Yeah. Uh, if your village economy is depending on me, you better get better goods. So this is apparently where the Guardian Lords are at. So, cool. Yep, everything's going great. Everything's perfect. Hi, how are you? The true, the true, true. Did I really hear the river? Can I just say for you die without a pillar? What should I do? What should I do? I don't believe. Uh, is it true? Is it true? Did I really say that I go to the sacrificial altar even though I don't think we can really save a guy without a pillar? What should I do? What should I do? I don't believe. That is what she said there. She agreed to be the pillar. Because that's not going to come to bite us at all. Hey, look, uh, Tim, I know you're 12 and all, but can you sacrifice yourself for us for the greater good? No? You, you want me to go do what anatomically incorrect thing to myself? Fine, um, here's my daughter. Oh, you fell in love with her? Cool. How about I sacrifice her now? Oh, wait, you're a lot more powerful. You could probably destroy entire towns by yourself. Maybe this was not quite thought through. This is definitely the Filgaia with the most dickish Baskar. 
Anyway, now we can actually go there. We just needed to be told about it first. That's what happens when I don't do things in the right order. Teleport to. That's where I wanted to teleport to. I saw the yellow highlight for Hovercraft and my brain went, oh, that must be what's highlighted. <sighs> so, yeah, I know the folks of Baskar are not exactly portrayed as being good alignment wise, but. I feel as though this game probably needs to reinforce the whole sacrificing kids is a horrible idea, what the hell are you doing concept. Because they seem to be doing a really crappy job at that. Not that one. It's the next one. Right, get out. So these are apparently the Uratu Mountains, which require a hovercraft to arrive that they don't have access to. I don't get it. Meow. All right. There was something weird about this place. What was it? Don't ask how that works. No. Damn it, me. Nope, oh, too far. I notice that one of these is not quite right. Let's do the head. Aha! I have knocked off a uh, tire. Portrait. Done thing. Whatever. So, while I'm doing this very simple puzzle, got a question for you all. Um. So, while recording this series, I'm actually using no headphones. I'm actually listening to music on my speakers because this game has no audio. Or, has audio. Has no vocals, is what I meant. Where are you? Ropers! Ropers! Uh, no. Well, yes, they do. They have big berries. But they absorb four different elements. Air, earth, fire, and water. Well, good thing I have a lot more elements than that. As I was saying, I'm my noise cancellation actually works fairly well with this because the it can actually can the microphone can cancel out all of the non-vocal audio pretty easily. Unfortunately, there's a lot of things that I can't cancel that out on. Ooh, you're not dead yet. Power up. It's actually pretty strong. Um, so what I have been doing is using these headphones. Um, they're old noise cancelling headphones either from myself or my partner. These are my partner's old ones. We had the identical models. Um, but they're really old. You can, uh, can you tell? Focus. Focus. Nope, it's not wanting to focus. Um, they're horribly beaten up at this point. And on top of it, my ears start hurting after wearing them for a while. These are what I'm using for work, uh, and I don't want to use work things for home purposes because 
my brain basically starts going, mmm. Uh, my brain basically starts going, oh, I'm starting work again, and I start getting stressed. So what I want to do... Oh, it's visible. Uh, what I want to do is find something else. I had started using... Oh, I put it, yep, here it is. These. These are a pair of earbuds that I have. Um, they're fairly nice, except for the fact that I have some ear problems. And those ear problems are earwax related. Earbuds that actually go in her ear, like those do, compound the problem. So, I need to find something else that'll work. Specifically, I want to do this for role-playing or for other things. Let's go ahead and save state. Um... I see it. Oh, I see something that doesn't actually help. I need to knock something into there, don't I? Hold these? Yes. Do you see that? Oh, no, that's right. That was the column that moved. Derp. Saying, oh, right. So I'm looking for something that's very lightweight and doesn't bother my ears because the backs of my ears start getting very irritated after wearing headphones for extended periods of time. And I'm afraid that if the next game that I play has a bunch of voices, which my next planned game at least, there may be a game in between, is Vandal Hearts, which does have voice narration, then that's not going to work out well for me. So I'm looking for something that I can use for remote audio that won't be picked up by my microphone that's sitting right here. Um, my desktop that I'm playing on has Bluetooth, so I can use Bluetooth headphones. I can use conventional wired headphones. It doesn't really matter. I don't need noise canceling because I'm only using this for basic audio. What are you? Gesundheit. Um... You're weak against lightning. You also have Mega Berries. All right. I don't think you're going to live through this, but I can probably pick pocket one of you. Door ring. Mega Berried. Mystic, Spark, Zap, Dying. Oh, you're... That's an error. It's light, not lightning. Damn it, me. Whoops. Ah, I fought the lower level versions of these, and I had so many problems with it. I'm remembering now. Well, pickpocket more. And actually mystic the correct thing. It's light, not lightning. Stupid abbreviation on this guide. I just have a bestiary open in front of me. By the way, what what is the name that this is referencing? A Gispent? What happens if I Google Gispent? German for Temptation Illusion. Most things are just references to other video games. For instance, either the Armor Core series or the Fire Emblem series. Demon, basically. Cool. Jimmy. 
Hyper Gear. That's Brad? I was correct. Sneaky Trixie Hobbitses. Ooh. Okay. I remember something about this place. I also seem to remember having problems with this puzzle. And I don't remember what it was. Well, I'm gonna explore for a bit and see if I can figure it out. I mean, I feel as though that thing glowing might be a hint. might not be the only hidden door in that room. Yeah, if you can't tell, I'm trying to do these without, you know, actually... Oh, that actually is the only hidden door. Well, I'll try. Without cheating or looking things up at all, po if at all possible. All right. I have to go in there. Since I can't think of anything else... Ooh, a green exclamation point. I probably should have done that. I can't think of any other way across right now, because I can't grapple onto anything, right? Yeah, the grappling oak's not really used all that much in this game. I'm like, Wild Arms 1. I can try kick booting down here, I guess. Oh, that actually was it. Okay. see if I need to go into there really fast. There is, actually. Okay. Again, I'm intentionally not reading what I'm supposed to do. I'm just trying to figure it out. The heck are you? Okay, that would make sense. Hydra. Hydra. Weak against both fire and freeze. I can pickpocket lucky cards from you when you drop big berries. Cool. You know what I'm doing? Lucky card. Lucky card. Freeze, sucker. worth all that much XP, but, you know, it's nice. Alright, let's see if I can figure out what this place was. I have a hunch that this actually has something to do with it. Like, dropping on top of something. Oh, there's a sign under here. 
path is higher than the evil eye. It severs everything. A lower chin-biting steel starts a fire. The leaping flame opposes the flow of time, splitting the eye's pupil. Okay, so I need to go counterclockwise, going from above. Talking about flame, so I'm guessing Wilka. Ha! I would have expected more to that puzzle. Okay. Stone Lion acquired. Teleporter? Yep. Oh, that would have actually gotten me across. Oh well. Save point. Always a good sign. Get that chest. Oh, like that. Okay. Mirror feather. That is almost certainly for Tim. I need to go from the pot high. This allows me to go back. Basically. Yep. It's a little fast forwarding. As a treat. Too stubborn. Because that makes sense. Uh, whatever. Alright. There's definitely something in here. Just trying usuals. Any signs or anything? Any hurting at all? Brilliant. Aha. This is the one I had problems with, I think. The fierce will of the blaze turns to stone. These form a dam, but don't block the flow of time. Best to submerge the fierce will. Sink the stone and lure the flow. Aim for the flow's end of time. 
In all matters, don't be misled and don't oppose. To be in the present is the power to live. Don't oppose the flow of time. What? <laughs> Go away. I care nothing for you, silly blocks. You are fools. Behold the almighty power of Tim. I don't get why that one worked either. I just happen to remember from the last time I played the game. It was one of those that I stared at here for a long period of time until I realized I could just push all the blocks. Oh, that's where I came from. Dang it, me. Hydra. Too many items. So obviously I need to go steal some more, right? More lucky cards! Should probably resort my inventory now that I'm thinking about it. I should probably figure out the formula on that ability because it seems almost strictly better than Tim. But of course Tim has next to nothing, or other characters have next to nothing in terms of sorcery ability. First off, organize. Thank you. Second off. So for reference, Tim is still rocking the whole 353 sorcery. Um, that's almost a hundred higher than Luca. Of course, Luca's missing equipment, I just noticed. Um, but 129, 86, and 170. Yeah, Brad's the next highest sorcery. That's not saying much. Also, Luca, you should probably have equipment. Assuming another statue? Stone God. You need to hydrate. Yeah, any of those rooms with a statue in it has something weird. Uh, this is where I came from. At least this time I recognized it. To be fair, it's a symmetrical room. It's hard to tell. There's a light emanating from the medium. I was way too soft, sorry. The will of the guardians is tied together and is growing larger. It appears to be one giant life form. What in the world is it? Uh, we have Gaia, the body of collective consciousness for all guardians. While we are a crowd, we are also individuals. We're the one and only Gaia. We are the life of stars. No, that's rigged to bright. I, I have rigged to bright equipped. We have brought the pillar boy. Puka? 
Fukuka, our dispatched guide. You have served well. Fuka has been guiding Tim according to Gaia's will. I was told nothing of the sacred precincts, but that destiny would rule once Puka and Tim met. Destiny? That's right, Tim, boy of the pillar. Everything is a part of destiny spinning on a wheel. It's a planned accord. Except your fate. Except your fate as the pillar. Though Gaia is now being confronted by an unprecedented crisis. The only ones who can stop us are us, Gaia, and one who can deliver our power. The boy of the pillar. You, Tim. Please wait. What in the world is going on with Fulgaia with the sky being devoured? It's not fair for you to become a human pillar without knowing. All right, I shall tell you. The invading presence in our world is none other than the other world. Dun, dun, dun! The other world? Could you not have come up with a better name? Right. The other world is consuming Filgaia. Just like us, the world is a collection of small lives that is one big spirit. That world has overstepped its boundaries and is devouring other worlds. Huh. Well, this is so inconceivable, it's ridiculous. At first, the invasive eating took the shape of small beings. They were monsters, and the first arrival of beings to oppose Fulgaia's paradigm. But the fray in the world's boundaries grew, and soon a larger vessel was needed. A larger vessel to obtain another spirit. In other words, Fulgaia itself. Isn't there something we can do? Unfortunately, there's nothing. Your physical power can't really harm this conceptual world. Think about it. Even if we use weapons, there's no effect. It's what it means to have a conceptual world as an opponent. Yeah, the plot of Wild Arms 2 gets a little metaphysical at this point. It's actually been getting there for a while now. There's been some hints as to what's been going on, but only very vague hints that I'm sure would make more sense in Japanese because the translation's terrible. <coughs> No response. It's like having a cancer cell as an opponent. Boy of the Pillar. Do you understand now? To fight the other world, we, as similar conceptual beings, must first be released. When you have something of value, the path you choose will become naturally clear. When life is held out before us, we can protect anything. I don't want to. Hey, Pillar. Why do you hesitate? For the Pillar to be given as an offering for Filgaia. Even if it's my destiny, I can't accept it. I'm not afraid of dying. I just don't want to give my life to something I doubt. Even if I protect Filgaia as the Pillar now, doubts in my heart won't be resolved. Die as a sacrificial offering is an easy choice. To give your life to protect what's important to you. How can you object to that, boy of the pillar? It's because I... I... Puka beg you! Puka will search for answers to the pillar's doubts. Guide Puka. Is this your will? That's it. Then, okie dokie. Pillar, the choice is yours. But be sure you make your decision before it's too late. Puka. What is it? You don't have a self. You're the transforming subspirit, Puka. You have not forgotten, have you? I have not forgotten.
I feel as though that entire section needs to be translated better. I'm tempted to go to the Japanese Let's Play of Wild Arms 2 that I found, get the actual dialogue text, and ask a friend to translate it for me better. Because this just did not make any sense to me. And I know the entire plot of the game where I understand the metaphysical components at least a little bit better. That conversation still didn't make any sense to me. <clears throat> anyway, what we get out of this is I get the Force Skill Divide. Power Divider is a Tim Force Skill. With the Guardian's powers, all enemies' powers will be cut in half. That is a lie, by the way. What Divide actually does is that you use Divide on an enemy. Oh, here. Actually, it might be easier if I showed you. I have to get out of this place anyway. Oop. So sudden. I wonder what it is. It's me. Roger! Ashley here! We have an emergency here. Mm. Here's a short situation. Talk to me. Marina has been abducted. Marina abducted? How? Tell you when we... The rest later. Return to the Valeria Chateau. Alright. No control. Ashley Winchester. I have something that you love. Meet me at the ruins of the Lost Garden. On the Lone Island in the Inland Sea. Frozen Lake of Hell, first round. This is the ransom note. Frozen Lake of Hell, first round. Who's that? Those of you well versed in literature already know the answer to this, believe it or not. And I've actually given this as a hint way back. There it is. Maybe it refers to Coctus. That would be Kena would be the first layer, the first circle of hell, or first, first lake in the Coctus layer of hell. Sorry, words are having problems tonight. So she's alive, but how? Remember, Kena is a man, not a woman. Kena has even referred to himself using he him, but they changed Kena's pronouns in disc two to, in the American version to make it seem as though Kana was not gay. And this is the beginning of the changed pronouns. They just forgot that Kana actually used he, him in the first disc when they translated it. This is so dumb. That doesn't matter. I have to save Marina as quickly as I can. Calm down, Ashley. You're like, you're like a bomb ready to explode. Oh wait, you're a literal bomb ready to explode, aren't you? Your emotions are the trigger, so calm down. I can't believe it, Marina. We know it's a trap, but we still have to go. I understand. Saving Marina is our top priority. I can't believe I'm saying this. You all must go to the Lost Garden with all haste. Ashley, you must control your inner self. I will find out as much as I can about Lord Blazer from here. I'm sorry, Irving. I'll do my best. Okay. I am going to save and stop it here, because while we're not at an hour, we're close enough. But more importantly, we have a lot of prep work that we need to do now. I'm probably gonna stop recording video for today. Maybe, well, what time is it? Ah, uh, no, this will be it for today. Hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.